What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you everything you need to play everything I wanted. Just a few quick important notes before we get started. The song structure is going to be intro, verse, chorus, and bridge, and the time codes are here in case you don't finish this video today and want to jump back to wherever you left off to more. As always, tabs are available to our Patreon subscribers, and you can get that by clicking here or in the link in the description below. And if you want a step-by-step -step complete guide to fingerstyle guitar, you can get a free trial to my complete program, again by clicking here, or I'll put another link in the description below this video. Today's patron shoutouts go to Catherine Rogers and CW Tan. Thank you for being patrons for many months. Your support really goes a long way in helping us teach millions of guitarists around the world. All right, with that, put a capo on your second fret, make sure to tune up your guitar, grab a beer or a juice, depending on what you're into, and let's get into it. If you've been following my fingerstyle tutorials for a little bit, I'm going to actually change up how I reference the strings and frets in this video. I'm going to, instead of saying 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th string, I'm going to say E, B, G, D, A, and E as the actual notes of the strings are named, and then still reference the frets as one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So now instead of saying sixth string, fifth fret, now I'll just say E5, which means E string on the fifth fret. This one should be an easier way for you to follow along, but it is gonna take a little bit of time to get used to if you've watched my other videos. So try it out and let me know in the comments what you think of this method or whether I should stick to the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth strings. Okay, we're gonna start on a C chord, but without the first finger, and then play these four strings. One at a time like that in an arpeggiated form to give a nice smooth sound. Then you play the open G string then the A and D strings, and slide up to the 4th and 5th frets. Then moving on, you're going to play a power chord form on A2, D4, and G4. Then play D string, and then again a slide with these two fingers up to the 3rd and 5th frets. So what we've got... Then we're going to end that part with a 2 hammer on run, starting on G0 to the 2nd fret, then B0 to the first fret. And you're gonna hammer on with those. You don't have to hammer on if you don't want to, but it will sound a little bit smoother if you do. So I recommend trying it, and then if you find it too tough, then you can just pick them out individually. Which sounds pretty much the same, just a little less smooth. So all together, the intro sounds like this. Once you can play the intro, we're going to move into the verse, which is going to sound like this. So it sounds kind of long, but there's actually only three different lines we need to learn here. So starting again with our C chord minus that first finger, then play the D string twice, then B, G2, then a pull off to the open string. Then, just like in the intro, you're going to take these two fingers and slide to 
into the fourth and fifth frets just like we did in the intro. Then open G string, D string, A string. Then we're going to take this finger and put it on the string, and it doesn't really matter exactly which fret because we're going to slide straight into it. And you do a nice long slide to the 7th fret here. And then 9th fret on your A string, and play that twice. Then move this first finger up to G7. Then your pinky onto D10. 9, 10. 10, 9. So that's a little confusing, I know, but just listen to it and see if you can follow along. So now all together, what we've got for this bar is... And then we're going to do the same run that we ended the intro with. G0, hammer on to 2, then B0, hammer on to 1. And that's that full line of the verse. So you're going to play that twice in a row, and then we're going to move on to the next line. That's that whole part twice. And then moving on, the next bar, we're gonna play G0, D2, and then use your third and fourth fingers to play D4 and A5. Then play D4, B0, G2, pull off to zero, and then D4. And then keep this finger on and put your first finger on A2. Then open G and D and then D2 and A3. And then that same run we've been doing on all our lines so far. You're gonna get pretty familiar with that one over the course of this song. So that whole line together, Now when you put that in with the first two lines of the verse, our entire verse so far sounds like this. And then continuing on, you're going to play that first line again. So 
that you've already learned that part right there. You just have to play it again after that second part of the verse. So then moving into the final line of the verse, we're gonna start with our favorite C chord minus that first finger. Then put your pinky on B3 and try and let these chords ring out if you can. It's gonna make it sound smoother. Then first finger on B1 to make that full C chord. Then B0 and then move your first finger down to G2. And end that with your third finger on D4 twice. Then D4 again, G4, D2. And right there ends the verse. If you add that to the rest of it, you can play the entire thing. So putting that all together, once again, the verse sounds like this. Once you can play the verse, we're going to move into the chorus, and here's the full chorus played out for you. All right, so that sounds like a lot, but this chorus actually only has two different lines that we have to learn. This is the trickiest part of the song, so don't worry if it takes you a little while to learn. This one is definitely tougher than the other parts, but I think it also sounds the coolest, so I think it's worth the work to try and actually learn it well. So we're gonna do a few lead-in notes to start it off. A3, G0, hammer on to G2, B0. A little run to lead into the chorus. Then we start here on first finger on A3. And in this chorus, you're probably going to want to follow along with my finger placement specifically because it is a little bit tricky to get the rhythm if your fingers aren't in a nice spot. So try and pay particular attention to here where I tell you to put your specific fingers. So we're going to play A3 and B0. Then alternate, and then put your third finger on B3, and play A and B string, and then hammer on to the fifth fret with your pinky there, then play a string again, and then play B and G string, and slide up to the seventh there. So together, then open D a second time to G2, and then third finger on B3 and open D. Then open D again twice. And so here, the notes aren't hard, just follow the rhythm. If we play these first two bars together. Mm -hmm. 
again. Then moving on, you're going to put your second finger on A2 and play that twice. Then third finger and pinky on G2 and B3. And do that alternate there. And then you're going to play B3 again and then A2 again. So. Then keeping this third finger in its place, you're going to add your first finger onto B1, play those two, and then B1 again. So that bar together. Adding that bar to what we've learned to the chorus so far, we've got this. Continue on to the last bar of this line. You're going to move your third finger to A3, then play B0, then play B0 and A3. Then play A3 and D0, hammer on to 2, and then play A3 and B0, hammer on to B1. that's the same run we're used to, just we're playing A3 at the same time. And right there, that's actually most of the chorus. So what we've got so far is this. but slower. Now this one is a little bit tricky because the rhythm's a little bit strange and you kind of have to play it a little bit faster to feel it well so work on the notes on their own for a while and then once you're kind of comfortable with the notes try and play it at a faster speed so that you can feel the rhythm a little bit better i even find it difficult to play this one slowly because it's really hard to feel out how the rhythm goes if you're trying to play the notes really slowly at the same time so the actual rhythm is this So you can really hear the vocal melody when you play it at full speed, but it is t difficult to do at slow speed, so work on your notes, know where you're going, and then try and play the rhythm a little bit faster than maybe you're comfortable with, so that you can feel that out a little bit better, and that's going to help you learn this one faster. So from there, once you can play that line, that's actually most of the chorus. We're going to play that line twice in a row. Once you've played that part twice, we're going to move into the only different section of the chorus, and this line sounds like this. So that's just where the melody changes up slightly. Learning this one, our first bar is going to be exactly the same as what we've played so far. That's the same, and then you're going to play 
D0 again, and then first and second finger on G2 and E2. Then back to D4 twice. Then move your second finger to B3 and play D and B string. Then move your pinky to the fifth fret to get that high note. And then this is the biggest stretch of the song. You're going to move your first finger down to A2 and play that twice. So now this line. Then keeping that second finger in place, third finger on E3, then second finger on E2, then play E2 again. Third finger on A3, then pinky on E3. Then play A and E open. And then that same run we always end our line with. And that's that entire line. Together. And right there, you've learned the entire chorus. So we're going to play the first line twice, then that line we just learned, and then repeat the first line once again to finish off the chorus. So again, that first line is this. That part right there. So now the entire chorus I'll play for you slowly once more. And that right there is the hardest part of the song, the longest part of the song, and the entire chorus right there. Now we're going to move into the bridge, which is the final part we need in order to play this entire song. The bridge is going to sound like this. So the bridge is one line repeated twice, and we're going to start on a favorite C chord minus the first finger, except we're going to switch the second and third finger for the first and the second finger. Then play D and G string, A, then G, put your third finger on D4. Then move on, you're going to keep your fourth finger in place and add on your pinky. And then... Then move the second finger to D2. Third finger back to D4. And then slide up to the seventh fret. So what we've got for the bridge so far is...
then from there, take your second finger and put it on E7 and alternate these two twice. Then slide up to D9, then D10, and then D9. Adding that to the full thing. And then to end the bridge, E8 with your second finger four times. And that's the whole bridge. So you're going to play that all together and then repeat that a second time. So the entire bridge, you're going to play this. And that right there is the entire bridge. Now that's the last part we need to learn to play the entire song, but I am gonna finish off the song with the intro repeated and end on a nice held chord. So we've already learned this part, it's gonna be the exact same as the intro. And that's the end of the song.